Hey there guys, Chet here. Today I'm going to compare Canva and CapCut, two incredibly popular creative platforms that serve very different needs. I'll cover their features, pricing, user experience, integrations, and more. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one fits your creative projects best. And after watching this video, if you decide to go with Canva, check out the link that I've added in the description. And if you use that link, you'll get access to a premium course and some great Notion templates all for free just through my link. So let's get started. First off, let's break down what these platforms are. Canva is a design platform mainly used for creating social media graphics, presentations, posters, and other visual content. It's known for its drag and drop simplicity, tons of templates, and ease of use, making it great for beginners and non-designers. On the other hand, CapCut is an AI-powered video editing tool that has exploded in popularity, especially among mobile users and content creators on platforms like TikTok and Instagram. It's built to make video editing fast, smooth, and packed with trendy effects. Now let's dive into the feature set. Canva is all about templates and static visuals, although they've recently expanded into video editing and animations. You get access to millions of photos, graphics, fonts, and pre-built layouts. You can easily customize colors, logos, and brand elements, making Canva perfect for small businesses or personal brands trying to keep a consistent look. CapCut, meanwhile, is laser-focused on video. It offers advanced video editing features like keyframe animation, chroma key, auto captions, trendy effects, and even AI-powered suggestions to make your content really stand out. It's available on mobile and desktop, making it super convenient for creators who want to edit on the go. Next up, let's talk about user experience. Canva is famously beginner friendly. You don't need any design background to start creating polished graphics in minutes. The interface is clean, intuitive, and web-based, so there's really nothing to install. CapCut similarly has a very smooth experience, but leans slightly more technical because video editing naturally has more layers and details. Still, for a video editor, CapCut does a great job simplifying the process for new users without sacrificing powerful tools for more advanced creators. When it comes to integrations, Canva connects seamlessly with platforms like Google Drive, Dropbox, and social media networks, making it easy to export or schedule your designs. CapCut integrates well with TikTok since both are owned by ByteDance, which means you can directly publish your edited videos to your TikTok account, saving tons of time for short form video creators. Both platforms understand their audiences very well and build integrations that match their users' needs. Now let's talk about pricing. Canva offers three main plans. Canva Free is free. Canva Pro at $6.50 per month for one person. Canva Teams at $5 per person per month with a minimum of three people. CapCut also offers a pro subscription priced at $9.99 monthly or $89.99 per year, unlocking premium editing features, effects, and assets. So, which one should you choose? If you're mainly working on visual designs like social media graphics, flyers, or brand assets, Canva is probably the better pick. It's beginner-friendly, affordable, and packed with design tools that save you time. But if your main focus is video content, especially if you're active on platforms like TikTok, Instagram Reels, or YouTube Shorts, CapCut's specialized video editing capabilities will give you a creative edge. Both tools are fantastic, but it really comes down to whether you're focusing on visuals or video. All right, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.